here today with a nine millimeter pistol that I was really excited to get my hands on. This is the new Prodigy AOS from Springfield Armory. The Prodigy is basically a 1911 double stack. The 1911 design is tried and true and Springfield Armory has been making some of the finest 1911s available here for a long time now. They mated that to an advanced lower that's a polymer lower with a double stack magazine and it just really blended the best of both worlds with the classic 1911 and the more modern double stack 1911 pistols. It's a wonderful pistol, the Prodigy AOS from Springfield Armory. The heart of the Prodigy is the modular grip system. Rather than being just a slide and a lower end like most 1911s are, this has three components to it. You've got your slide, you've got your frame, and there's a grip module that attaches to that frame. The frame is made of steel, the slide is made of steel, the grip frame module is polymer. There are not separate grip panels on it so it doesn't have to be any thicker than it absolutely has to be and it's not so thick that it's hard to get a hold of. A lot of the earlier double stacks were, it felt like grabbing a 2x4 or something like that. These are pretty comfortable to grab. They're, they feel the hand but they're not so big that you can't handle them. I've even had some really small handed shooters comment that this was a whole lot easier to run than they thought it was going to be. The polymer grip module also reduces the weight significantly. Using the polymer grip module on it shaves a few ounces off. The total weight of this is 33 ounces. It's not a lightweight pistol, but it's not a heavyweight pistol either, being that it's a steel slide and a steel frame. The slide and the frame are both forged carbon steel finished in a black Cerakote. It's a really nice looking finish. It's an even finish, not a shiny finish, but it's not a really dull finish either. Kind of a satin finish it gives it a nice business like appearance and it looks very nice against the black polymer grip module. The slide also features wide angled slide serrations on the front and the rear of the slide, making it really easy to maneuver the slide. And if you're running it, with an optic on it, that just makes it even easier because you can just put your hand up against that and rack it till the cows come home. Really works great for that. The steel frame has a Picatinny spec compatible rail on the bottom of it, and the dust cover is noticeably longer than what you find on most 1911s. Gives you plenty of room to put any number of accessories on the bottom of the dust cover if that's what you want to do. Red dot optics on pistols are just all the rage nowadays and with good reason. They're faster than open sights, they're quicker to pick up than open sights, they're accurate, they're easy to run and they've gotten to where they're small enough now where it's not really a liability on a carry pistol or a competition pistol or whatever you want to put a red dot on. The advanced optics they've got these days have really made this a doable thing. With the AOS, the slide is machined so that the rear sight and this plate that it's attached to can come off. There's a plate that you put on there to mount an optic to, and then you put your red dot on. And you don't have to line up any sights. You put the dot on what you want to shoot and you go to work. That's what makes the red dot optics as popular as they are right now. That makes them accurate and makes them fast. There are a lot of good options for an optical dot sight on a pistol these days. There's just a whole bunch of them out there. They're all good in some way. Some of them are better than other ones. And the Hex Dragonfly, I think, is one of the best ones out there. It's made with an aluminum housing, not a plastic housing. It's pleasing to look at. It's tough. I like the way it turns on better than I do most of them. There's a little button here on the side. You push that little button and you're ready to go. There's also eight different brightness settings on the thing. You cycle between those by just pushing the button until you get to the one you want. You can turn those, that intensity down for darkened rooms and whatnot, and you can turn it way up if you're shooting outside on a really bright day. With eight different settings to choose from, there's gonna be one that's right for what you're trying to do. Then to turn it off, all you do is you press and hold that for three seconds, and it goes off for you. They claim 100,000 hours of battery life running on the lowest setting on these things. There's no telling how long it's gonna take you to wear the battery out on it. It's the Hex Dragonfly. It's a really good sight. They're 250 bucks when you buy them by themselves, but it only adds $200 to the price of the Springfield Prodigy. The open sights on the Prodigy are really nice. They consist of a fiber optic front that is in a squared housing. So that when you pull it up, it looks like a regular square post sight. Just happens to have a dot in the middle of it that glows really well for you. Any ambient light that you've got, it's going to pick it up. Really easy and quick to pick up for that. The rear sight is black serrated. The AOS plate has another rear sight in it, and the sights are tall enough where they easily co-witness with your optical sight. It makes for the best of both worlds. The barrel is five inches long with a bull configuration. It's forged stainless steel. 
it's a match grade barrel and there's just no slop or anything anywhere on this thing when it when it's in battery it locks up as the old saying goes tighter than dick's hat band there's no lateral play there's no vertical play or anything like that it contributes to the fine accuracy i was able to get out of this pistol the barrel is also ramped rather than having the frame ramped so it makes it easier to feed sharp shouldered hollow points and that sort of thing i haven't had any jams with this thing everything just ran perfectly and i run a bunch of different kinds of ammo through this thing from light target loads all the way up to plus p plus it just ate them all up and shot them all accurately the recoil system consists of a two-piece full-length guide rod and unlike some full-length guide rod pistols I've seen, this one is not hard to strip. You just take a 532nd Allen wrench, back that off about a half a turn, and then you're able to strip it pretty much like a regular 1911. The thumb safety on the Prodigy is ambidextrous and extended. It's really easy to work with either the left or the right hand. Snaps on and off positively without being so tight that you have any trouble with that. Very nicely designed ambidextrous safety on these. The grip safety is an extended beaver tail, so there's not going to be any kind of hammer pinch or hammer bite with that. Has a nice memory bump on it, which is a big deal to me because I have to shift my grip on most 1911s once I wipe the safety down because I'm not sufficiently pressing the grip safety with my palm. A nice memory bump like this allows you to ride that safety down still be able to touch it off it really does make a difference the hammer is radically skeletonized on these to reduce weight it also quickens up lock time a little bit but they work great and they it nestles in perfectly with the beaver tail on the grip safety the trigger is lightweight aluminum medium length also skeletonized nicely finished in a black anodized and it has an over travel adjustment stop on it just a wonderful trigger on this and the trigger dropped right at two and a half pounds very clean and crisp trigger and no problems there whatsoever just a hint of take up on the front end of that and it lets off very cleanly at only two and a half pounds it's a wonderful trigger commensurate with the kind of a trigger that you'd find on a high dollar custom gun the trigger guard is integral to the grip module, so it's polymer. It's shaped really nicely. There's a little bit of a hump underneath it. The front of it is hooked. If you use a finger forward grip, also has a nice stippling panel on that. Speaking of stippling, the entire grip module on the front and on the sides is really nicely stippled. It's not a real coarse and aggressive stippling but it's plenty stippled enough to where this thing doesn't want to squirm in your hands while you're shooting it makes it a little bit easier to shoot and to me it's just perfect the mainspring housing is flat as i prefer and it's also finely checkered as i prefer it continues that positive grip texture around to the back of the grip really this is a nice feeling gun in the hand with the Prodigy being a full size double stack pistol naturally you can get a half a box of ammo in the magazine on these things it comes with two magazines the first being a 17 round magazine that has a flush floor plate on it it's a tapered from a double stack to a single stack it works wonderfully it also comes with a 20 round magazine that sticks down about a half inch more than the 17 round magazine does so that's not a huge difference there it's a good magazine to have on you for a spare also they have available a 26 round magazine that sticks out quite a bit further and that's not a problem because once you empty out a 17 round magazine then you empty out a 20 round magazine you're pretty much giving away your position so you don't have to worry about hiding a 26 round magazine you can go ahead and go to work if you hadn't solved your problem by that point the 26 round magazines are available from the springfield armory store for 60 bucks so you check them out a great all-purpose load for the 9mm is the Subsonic Standard Pressure Low Flash Full Metal Jacket Flat Point Load from Buffalo Bore. It's a standard pressure load running about a thousand feet per second. It's really accurate and consistent. Double Taps 147 grain controlled expansion plus P load is a great load for social work. It expands really well in gelatin. We've tested that in the past. It's just a wonderful little self defense load.
another great self-defense load from the folks at Double Tap is their 115 grain lead-free all-solid copper bullet. It's a plus P load, it's running about 1,275 feet per second. It's just a really dandy little load, great for self-defense. Great load for social work is Buffalo Boar's 124 grain jacketed hollow point plus P plus. It's a really hot load. It's running about 1,300 feet per second. It's accurate. It's dependable. It's reliable. The bullet is very well designed. Opens up really nicely, and it's really screaming out of there. Just a great self-defense load from Buffalo Boar. The Prodigy will work for any holster that's made to fit a railed 1911. There's no difference dimensionally to speak of in between the top end of this and other 1911s. The difference is here on the bottom end, which the holster doesn't deal with anyway. So if you've got a 1911 holster that'll work with a railed 1911, it'll work for this Prodigy. What I've got here is a CID slide holster from my pal Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged Holsters out in Arizona. This holster Rob made for a custom Nighthawk pistol that I've got, which has a little bit of a rail on the bottom of it, so it works just fine with the Prodigy. The CID slide is a minimalist design. It's uh, just basically a belt slide. The front end of the gun is open. The uh, butt of the gun is open, and it's just a pretty a simple belt slide holster. They're very well done, really nicely crafted. This one here has elephant hide on the outside. You can get them with that other exotic materials you can get for a covering on the outside of them or if you want to go for just plain leather in a couple different colors they're only 50 bucks until you start getting into the custom touches like custom leathers and uh tooling and uh carving and all that kind of stuff you can run them on up from there but the cid slide holster starts at only 50 bucks you can get them with inside out straps to make them an inside the waistband holster if you want to which is a nice option to have you can get them that way and you don't have to wear them that way it makes them a little bit more versatile it's a nice thing these are great holsters from a great guy and a great company check them out at simplyrugged.com msrp on the springfield armory 1911 ds 9mm with the aos system is $16.99 they're getting to where you can find them pretty well. They're, you're going to find them for a little bit less than that. If you want the standard model without the AOS, those are $14.99. But to me, it's well worth it to go for the extra $200, bucks, especially since you already get the AOS system and you already get a $250 site for only $200 extra. Well worth the extra money to me. And I was a little bit late coming to the game and appreciating the dot optics but I'm there now. I really like these things. The way they're doing today makes them practical, makes them cost effective. Just a really good option for a carry pistol. To find a dealer who can get you a Springfield Arms Prodigy, and I suggest you do that, go to Lipsies.com and click on their dealer finder. You give them your zip code and they'll send you a list of dealers in your area within a specified radius that can get you one of these through Lipsies. And you're dealing with a dealer who is a Lipsies customer, so you know that they're on the up and up because Lipsies don't mess with no jack legs. And then everything is good for everybody. You go there, you do, do your paperwork, fill out everything like you normally would. Ask for your civil rights from the, please, Mr. Government, can I have my civil rights today? Pay whatever kind of fees they're going to put on your back this week and walk out of there with your prize. It's a great way to buy guns through Lipsies' network of dealers.